prop betting might actually be the best and most profitable way to attack the Final Four. This is Brad Bowers, pregame.com studios, just off the Vegas trip. We're talking prop betting here in the semifinal game number one between Loyola, Chicago, and Michigan. And you're expecting a close game here, Fez. What prop bet are you looking at here? Going to play a prop on the largest lead during the entire game to go under 14 and a half points. No one ever getting a 15 point lead. It's all about Loyola playing low scoring close games prior to the Kansas State game this team in the NCAA tournament had played three straight hard fought lower scoring games decided by one one and two points where no one was able to go ahead and generate a significant lead. I expect more of that type of game. I really feel that Kansas State game was an aberration. All right only four games. That's a small sample size Fez. But you've seen this trend with Loyola Chicago dating back to their Missouri Valley Conference tournament run. Yeah, three grinded out wins where Loyola slowly took the lead, got up by six to nine points in the final minute. It came down to whether they could make their free throws, whether they covered or not. They didn't sniff a 15-point lead in any of those games. All right, let's talk where this game is played, the Alamo Dome, a football stadium, unlike a small arena that Lyle Chicago is used to be playing in, and obviously Michigan as well. How does that impact here? We're always worried about three-point shooting variance with this prop. One team has a bad night, one team has a good night, and the hot shooting three team builds a big lead. I think both teams are going to know that with that backdrop, it's going to be difficult to shoot threes. I think we'll see fewer three point shot attempts. I think we'll see fewer of them made and that should serve to reduce the variance in this game, keeping it less likely that there'll be a large lead. That makes a lot of sense. But let's talk about your second uh, key handicap here. Let's talk Michigan. Let's talk Michigan. They have an elite defense right now, a top defense, but their offense has often sputtered. And I like that kind of team because, again, it reduces variance in what we're going to see. Three of Michigan's four games, we've seen there be no 15-point lead. And the one game where there was a large lead was against Texas A&M where they shot lights out. And like that Kansas State Loyola game, I think that, too, was an aberration. Yeah, and let's talk about an aberration. Is that where the value is coming from this game? Because – when people just, you know, the last game for Lila Chicago, a blowout, and then that Texas A&M game for Michigan? I believe so, because if those two games had been uh, games that were close and there weren't large leads, then this prop would be 8-0 to the under for both teams, and we'd see the largest lead posted at 13.5. But because of those two games, we're getting a 14.5, and, and I think that's enough to give us value here to go under the 14.5. This prop bet makes a lot of sense, and you're the king of prop bets. Let's go ahead and make it official. Love the prop bets. Let's make it official. Prior to the Kansas State game, Loyola has had a series of low-scoring, close games with no big leads. And Michigan's defense has become elite while their offense has often struggled. Three of their last four games, all in the tourney, has not seen a 15-point lead. The Fez Mass says largest lead, Loyola, Michigan. Go under 14 and a half. More videos, pregame.com.